Good morning everyone. I am up and dressed. Ali is still in bed and Cal is in work. I'm heading down to London today and I've got loads and loads of meetings with YouTube, GHD. In fact, who else have I got meetings with? I have more. Let's check my schedule. Oh, and Erin, which is just amazing. I'm obviously wearing amber musk today. In fact, I need to pack a travel size of amber musk otherwise I can't top up my perfume. I really like my outfit today and it's kind of thrown together with some new accessories that I purchased. You would have seen my new shoes from Bottega Veneta and also my bag. However, these, do I have a sweaty top lip? No, I don't, good. These shoes are quite possibly the most uncomfortable shoes I've ever worn in my life. I'm hoping I'm gonna break them in today. This is probably actual suicide, but they're already feeling better. So all is looking promising. I'm gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna get on our way. I'm also gonna be trying to do more of these videos when I vlog when I'm going to London because I didn't realize how many people enjoyed just coming with me to London and seeing London and just doing these things with me. So I'm gonna try and be better at vlogging when I'm down in London and showing you more and doing more and just generally being a little bit more proactive with my vlogging. I'm also back on my old camera, by the way. I'll talk to you about that later, but the new G7X Mark III, I don't like it. It's not for me. So yeah, if you're looking at me thinking, lipstick, what are you wearing, Lydia? I have Spice and Laura Mercier Run Pale on, and I really like it. So all is good. Right, I'm gonna show you my outfit and then I'm gonna get going. Okay, this is my outfit. I've got a Joseph cashmere jumper on that I got from Flannels. Then I've got this raw silk, or it might just be silk, skirt from H&M. I'm so glad that I shaved my legs this morning because this was a very impulsive outfit and I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't shave my legs. And then shoes are the Bottega Veneta ones, but this light is not being kind to me. Come on, come on. Why is it when I show my shoes, you, you make me go dark? Okay, there we go. You can kind of see them down there. I showed them in my Paris vlog. These were the shoes that were not supposed to be, but just happened to be. They are half a size too small, so maybe that's why they're uncomfortable, but we're gonna give them our best shot today. Bag is also Bottega Veneta and scrunchie. I have no idea where it's from, so that's that. I'm gonna go and jump in my car, say goodbye to the fur baby, and say goodbye to the other fur baby, Mr. Ali Gordon. <laughs> dark on the camera there. Hi, <laughs> welcome back. First meeting is at YouTube. So we're at King's Cross, so we're gonna head there now. We're running a little bit late because our train was held up, but it's no problem. I'm gonna get watery eyes because the wind is blowing right in them as well, but it is what it is. So let's head inside and ow, I just got something in my eye. <laughs> I actually haven't met with YouTube since I had 30,000 subscribers. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh wow, that's so cool! That's Patricia! Oh, so cool! Love this! Carrie and I both have coffees and we've also got the only gluten-free thing that they have. Apricot flapjacks. Apricot Obars. Obars, whatever. <laughs> So we have just finished up at YouTube and honestly that was fascinating. It is so incredible to see like how my channel is performing stats wise, seeing what you guys like in terms of content and how you engage with it. That was honestly incredible and I'm just I'm so grateful for you guys because you absolutely you just sit and you watch my videos and you enjoy them and it's great and I love it so thank you so much one thing they did tell me to do though is to tell you to subscribe and I usually put this like as a flippant comment at the end of my videos and I'm just like yeah subscribe if you want to but if you do watch my videos and you haven't subscribed yet please do because it's really helpful to me and it'll mean a lot to me. And sometimes even just a little burst in subscribers can do wonders for your algorithm.
algorithm and just really really help so if you are enjoying my videos and you've just not got around to subscribing there's so many quick and easy ways to just do it down there now so please do because they mean the world to me but where are we going now is it ghd yes so yes. her house oh, this, i'm with this one good morning She's got her hair and i'm gonna on. say thank you as well because honestly the number of times that millen turns around and she's like oh, i'm really struggling creatively and i don't know what i'm, I'm doing anymore and i keep saying to her you're doing great you're doing absolutely great but youtube just told her that as well and <laughs> statistically she performs so much better than she won't say this so much better and like above average on almost every level oh. that she just needed that pat on the back so thank you do you know what it is it's like when you're um when your mum tells you you can sing but you kind of know that you can't sing and then you go and like <laughs> try out for the x factor and they're like you can't sing that's my fear so when you're like people around you tell you that you're doing well you're like no and it's it takes one person that's like un detached yeah detached and like unbiased to it but thanks mate thanks for always telling me that thanks. i'm doing great thanks. i like your hairband by the way do you yeah i ordered a hairband oh. this morning you didn't yeah the, the zara one the, the you shopped in zara well i did do a zara order this morning i don't usually but there's a bodysuit in there that's amazing and so i ordered every color of it sure. some scrunchies let me guess you must have you wouldn't have ordered one of everything either. No, I ordered two. <laughs> two of each. <laughs> um, black, white, and nude. And then I got this the spandang Mind headband. Yeah. Um, Susie was wearing it at Vic's wedding and it looked really, really nice. Oh, nice. So I ordered it. I, I don't know if I ordered the right size though, but we'll find out. No, this but, is one of the ones that you, you gave me. Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty big. Oh, I thought I looked a bit Alice in Wonderland, but then at the same time, I was kind of like, all right with that. No, I like it. And I like your tones that you're wearing today with the red and your red glasses as well. You don't like my red glasses. I, I like my I like your red glasses on you. But not on you. Oh, this light is horrendous. These are Carrie's new glasses. I've got quite a few. You haven't seen my green Oh my god, Carrie, yet. how it's not even that you're blind, it's the fact that these are filthy. I don't keep them in a case, there's not room for I know I don't do that with sunglasses either, but yeah, seriously. I would, I would clean them if I was going to need them. I feel like this needs to be my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I wish this van would move though, because it's really blocking my, my, my glow. Look, you can see how filthy they are. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I like these. Need to find you my green pair. Oh, they're in my closet. Wow. That is not very ladylike, Lummy. It's not very ladylike, is it? Got your legs open. Oh, no, okay, that's what you want. Okay, the girl knows what she wants. <laughs> I am back, coming at you from my little makeshift office here in my dressing room, which I am loving, by the way. It's so nice to just be up here. I love it. So, last night, <laughs> we finished up meetings with GHD and also Erin and Estee Lauder, which was just great. Such a lovely finish. And it was funny, after the girl from Erin left, Carrie and I just ended up sat, sat there talking about skincare. And the next thing we know, we're just like, she want to get some wine. And so we just had a couple of glasses of wine together and caught up because it's been a very, very hectic month. And it's so weird that she can work here every day with me, but it's felt like I haven't really seen her. So we just caught up, had a great chat and it was thoroughly enjoyable. And then I came home and my husband had done a number of things around the house, which was really, really great. So I was very happy about that. He put up his new mirror and my, his new mirror, my new mirror. It's mine, I paid for it. But the, the console table now looks so perfect in the hallway. I put up my new art from Tony Thornton, which I'll show you. And there's just lots to get on with. But I do have a Zara order to open with you. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this, but I don't ever shop at Zara, ever. I really don't like the experience and it annoys me that their service is so bad and yet they make so much money. <laughs> <laughs> However, there were some things that I really did want on there. So I ordered them and I ordered multiples. So I've seen this bodysuit and I'm massively into bodysuits at the moment. So I bought it in all of the colors. So I got the nude, the black and the white and I purchased two of each because these are such a great silhouette but also such a great basic to have. So these just won't go out of style. So I don't mind like buying things like this from the high street because it feels really really nice 
material wise, super soft, but also fits really nicely. I've seen it on like Rosie Huntington Whiteley and she looks amazing in it and they're 12 pounds. So these are things that I can keep and wear and wear and wear. So I bought multiples of them. Ah, oh, they are big, yes. Okay, if you haven't noticed, I've worn a lot of scrunchies recently. I love scrunchies. And I ordered these ones. I have a really expensive one that I got from Letta Porte, which was like 90 pounds, which is lovely. It's green and I can't find any more neutral colors. And obviously when I'm wearing something like this, I need something more neutral and these are perfect. So I've got a polka dot one. These were 9 90 9 Yeah, so these are perfect, really big. I like big scrunchies, but you can just, let's get this one out. Cause it's actually a small little pink one. Still great to have, but I love these big ones that you like, oh, love it. I'm literally just gonna wear this one now. Super happy with that. They were 9 99 and then I saw, oh no, this is the big one. Oh, this is gonna be too big for my head. I'm gonna have to take this back. This is, no, this is a huge no for me. I meant to get the small one that, Susie had at Vic's wedding and this is just, this is just too big. So I'll have to take that back, unfortunately, but oh well, at least I got my big scrunchies and my bodysuit. So yeah, how's that for my first Zara haul? Literally, I'll probably put a picture on screen of me wearing this because it's really no point in me putting it on now because it's just a basic. So yeah, that's kind of what's been happening and what I've been doing today is not a lot. I've written a blog post up here. So I wanted to tell you what I'm planning for with my blog moving forward. I am very impulsive with my blog and if I spend too long working on a piece, I get bored, I get irritated and it just never gets published. So I'm gonna be taking more of like a, an instantaneous scrapbook approach to my blog. I'm doing a little bit of like Insta beauty features whereby I like snap some products that I'm loving and tell you about them. To get me talking about products a little bit more and products that I love because I feel like I don't tell you a lot about products nowadays. It's sort of an Instagram story thing but I want something a bit more longer lasting. So I'm gonna be trying that out. I've popped one up today which is more of a fashion one all about the it bag of the season. So I'll link that down below this video will be going up like way after this went up but it's just to get me like loving blogging again because I still want to do some editorials where it's a bit more styled and professionally done but I think to keep content coming a lot quicker and to really ignite my passion with it again which I already feel so excited about to just be more quick with things I think this is going to be the best way for me to go forward. So at the moment, I'm thinking whether I need to do a redesign. I'm just sort of having a think about things, whether to make it a bit more like, I don't know, just, yeah. But I just wanted to let you know that there's going to be hopefully a lot more content going out on there now and just you see a lot more from my writing. And I know that there are some people that don't like me writing because I've got really bad grammar and I obviously am dyslexic as well. So that's not great, but... I'm choosing to do my blog a different way to everyone else and I hope that that's okay with people. So if you want to go and read a perfectly edited, you know, thing, go to Vogue. If you want something a little bit more instantaneous, a little bit more real, I guess, then my blog is gonna be doing that. It might not be perfect, but it'll be honest and that's what I am enjoying. And this is the beauty of blogging. I get to do it my way. And I've said this a hundred times before, if not a thousand times before, but we can't all be perfect writers, but that doesn't mean that you can't blog. So even if you're not a perfect writer or you struggle with writing or you're dyslexic or any of those kinds of things, you can have a blog and you can have a really good blog as well. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't because you absolutely can. I had my confidence knocked with it a little bit, but now I am finding my feet again. I've been doing much more regular blog posts, but I want to bring that up a lot more. So I hope that you are looking forward to that as well. I'll show you my new hallway. I'm gonna do a post on Instagram though and do a little bit more work. So I will chat to you in a little bit. I'm not sure if I told you, but we got Ali's bag back from Paris. So you can hear the sound of him editing my Paris video behind me. Because we got the bag back. I don't know if I told you what happened, but Ali just 
was texting the guy and all of a sudden he said he had it and it may have shown up with a few items and a few euros missing from it but the main camera was there and we got all our content back which was the most important thing i've been trying to work upstairs but i can't because ali has been he edits at well i told you in my previous video at a sound level that i just can't even relate to so i'm going to come downstairs i'm going to light a candle because we've got our friends coming over we've got alex and sam coming over because we are having a posh nando's you know that we do this all the time i am a shiny sweaty mess yes they are coming over for a posh nando so i'm going to get everything ready and light some candles and the candle that i'm lighting is amber musk from Erin, it's that time of year again. Do you know what the only thing that upsets me about this candle is they don't make it in a four wick. I really, really wish that they did four wick candles because nobody really does an autumn candle the way that Erin does this autumn fragrance. So I'm gonna light this. <gasps> Honestly, it's just such a dreamy scent and I am just so over the moon to be working with them. They are just the most dreamy fragrance brand in the world. Just oh, makes me so happy. So I'm gonna make it all cozy and get this lit. I'm gonna give it a quick tidy up and light my candle. In fact, you can watch me. I'm gonna get the kitchen all glowy and light all my candles because I bloody love it. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna take one of my candles from in my office, which is another amber musk one. I'm gonna light them in here and make it smell all nice and cozy in here. I'm gonna put these in my little lanterns up there. Because we've lit the fire and it's just a super cozy evening. I'm gonna eat crap. <laughs> What is that on my forehead? <laughs> Could you have I came on here to vlog? No, it looks like it's like soot or something. <laughs> Let's get that off. <laughs> what is that? Okay, whatever that is, we need to sort it out. Well, we're all set, house is all sorted, fire's roaring, places are set. I've got Alex's 30th birthday present as well to give her, so I'm gonna grab that. I picked her up a little something from Dior when I was at Heathrow, so grab that. It was her 30th and I'm in the dark and I'm sorry. Hold on, I need to sort my makeup out as well. Bear with me two secs. We are all set. Got the little baggie. Let's put that on the table. So, Ali has just given me my Laura Mercier content that arrived this morning with the bag that got given back to us, which is just oh, the best karma. But we also put together a little bit of a um, gift hamper for the ladies that alter all of our clothing at the zip yard in MK. They're so nice. But there's one lady that works there, and I don't know whether I should say her name because it, it's not, I haven't asked her if I can say it in my channel, so I'm not going to say it, but she'll know who she is. And I gave her a big bag of beauty products that I don't use and there's a lady that's not been well and she gave the whole bag to that lady. How? I just can't get over how selfless that is. That is just, that's so lovely. I said to Ali, I was like, she's so nice that it makes me want to cry because she's that nice. Like people that nice exist. It just, it makes the back of my throat hurt. It really does. Anyway, before I start crying, because apparently since links went missing, I've turned into an emotional wreck on this channel. But yeah, I'm not going to start crying. Wait till my friends get here. Give her her birthday present and have a really lovely evening. We did buy my favourite like board game. It's called Who's in the Bag? And we usually play it at Sam and Alex's and I've always wanted to buy it. And I remembered the other day that I hadn't bought it from Amazon. So that's arrived. So if we do want to play anything, we can. But the house is all nice and set up and cosy. And I've ordered the new bed. I've ordered the side tables, so they're all coming soon, but cozy vibes, peeps, cozy vibes. I hate the lights in here, it makes lines on my screen, but look who's here! Mm -hmm. oh, you get so camera shy Sorry. when I get my camera out, you play that. <laughs> so I've got Alex's Thank birthday you. present, but I have to explain to you about your birthday present. Okay. So. Oh my God, God, I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, you just have the bag. I didn't get you two 
two of these things. I don't want to give it away. I didn't get you two of these. Should I open it then you can explain? Okay. There's a Kirby in here! Is it what? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Kirby. <laughs> oh, I put that in there for safekeeping. Thank you. <laughs> It's like, we're really good at putting stuff in bags. <gasps> oh, yeah, I know. I've got your dressing gown upstairs, okay? Literally, I unpacked it and I was like, oh. What dressing anyway, gown is it? The white company one. Oh, you know how good it is unwrapping a ribbon or so, something like that? I only got you one of these things because I think it would look really shit if I got you two. Okay. So you, I think you put an odd one in it. Wait, I'll explain when you see it. I only ever wear one of these. It's their orb earring. Oh my it's god, and it's got the initials! Yeah. But then you put another pearl on the other side and it looks much nicer. Otherwise it'll be too much. Which, oh my god, that is incredible! Okay, okay. I really like it. I actually like it. But I was gonna get oh, you like the A and the L, but the it would just, just looked weird. That is amazing. Okay, but I really like it. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> and I am like, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your birthday, yeah. In fact, you're probably closer to 20 than you are 30, so. I Bag <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> so, Chippy? Good morning, everyone. The sun is beaming into my dressing room. It's that time of the year where the sun is so low at this time of the day and it just comes straight in my windows and it's a bloody nightmare. So I can't really show you exactly what I'm wearing and how it looks, but I've got my H&M silk skirt. I think it's from their premium collection. I've got golden goose sneakers on cause they're just bashed up and I feel like it fits this vibe really well. Then I've got this Zara bodysuit on, which I love, super comfortable and like minimal. Acne blazer and Bottega Veneta bag. Apparently in one of my other vlogs I was saying that it was Balenciaga. There's too many Bs. Burberry, Balenciaga, Bottega Veneta. There's, yeah, just too many. So sorry, I get confused sometimes. Skin is looking really, really great today. Like I am so, so happy with how my skin is coming along. I also went to see Dr. Ayad yesterday and I was going to see him about like some pigmentation on my skin and he's prescribed me this product. I'll tell you more about it later, but it's like a on the spot treatment. And he was like, yeah, you're probably not gonna see results for like six months, but I'm certain that they have faded. So maybe mine just weren't that bad or what, but they have definitely like lessened. The one on the side of my face has gone a bit red. It said, like he did say that it would maybe like irritate my skin a little bit. So that one must be a little bit deeper, but for the most part, my skin is just, oh, I'm so happy at the moment. I feel so much more confident. There was a time where, not even that long ago, probably a few weeks ago, where my skin just was not its usual self. So I am just over the moon. I'm wearing literally like, just a tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier and lots of glowy products and I love it, so yeah. Anyway, today is Saturday and I'm spending the day with Carrie because Ali, I think is mainly gonna be working this weekend. He's working so hard in his office behind me at the moment. I obviously can't show you because he's working on things for himself. So he's having this weekend to try and catch up on some workload and also just be a bit creative. So I am gonna spend the day with my best friend because obviously spending Monday to Friday together isn't enough. We are heading to some of the local art galleries to have a look around and just see what's like on offer. And we're gonna go and have some lunch in Woburn and I don't know what else we've got planned. We're just gonna see where the wind takes us today, but I am looking forward to it. It should be something really fun, so let's get going. I am in the car. Oh, if you hadn't already noticed. It feels like Ali and I have like gone like this. So I think in the beginning, where is my house keys? Oh, there we go. In the beginning, when Lynx didn't come home, I think I knew. I think I knew straight away that this was something so out of character for him. There's Lumi. I'm gonna let her walk through the gates. Yeah, I think that I just knew that there was something wrong because he's just always, always around us, always here. And I just grieved from the moment. Hold on, I'm turning. So I went through the bad time like in the beginning and now I've kind of reached that place where I just have to to keep going. I think that Ali 
is always the optimist from the word go and he's always the person that's like don't think the worst idiot don't think the worst and so now that it's like over a month since we last saw links i think it's kind of like setting in with him like his hope is kind of turning to grief and then anger and he's just he's sad and you might have noticed that he hasn't vlogged on his channel for a long time and he said to me the other day he's like i just can't and so that obviously makes me so sad because i've never ever seen him like this this is the first time that ali is like properly experiencing like grief it's horrible so yeah he's finding himself like really unmotivated he's struggling to film the videos that he loves filming like his outfit videos if you haven't seen those oh my gosh please go check out his instagram because he's so talented so i'm like getting out of the house today to let him do his thing and just chill and be calm and not get stressed by having me around everywhere because when you're trying to be creative and there's people everywhere it's just a bit of a nightmare so yeah i'm en route to carrie's house i'm gonna pick her up and we're gonna head to woburn which should be really lovely on this lovely sunny day because it looks like this is like the last weekend of good weather in the uk it's all downhill from here so it's in the 20s but yeah i don't think that's gonna last very long so i will see you when i get to carrie's because i know how you all hate hashtag dash camp although it's way better in this car i'll see you in a bit With this smell yeah. as well. I love it's this smell. Like that place, that bar. Yes, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. Quite like that, you know. So we finished up in Woburn and now we're in Woburn Sands. We went and had a little look around but we've decided that we're going to come back there for drinks afterwards, aren't we? Yeah. Well, later on. We went to an art gallery there and Carrie knows the guy that owns it and apparently it turns into like a wine bar with like picky bits this evening. So we're going to go and head there and do some drinks there because it's Saturday and why not? But now we're heading to... Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Wine not. <laughs> We're heading to Nonas now in Woven Sands for some lunch and then heading off to some more galleries. I just pour on everything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to do it all cool there. Fail. <laughs> my favourite little nephew. No, you're not my favourite nephew, but you are my nephew. Is that you being excited to see me? This is Oscar. And this is Carrie's cat. He's her rescue cat. He has epilepsy. He has the biggest pink nose I've ever seen. You okay? How you been? He's very handsome. Did we wake you up? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. I'm just filming. You've been famous, buddy. Is he unfit yet? No, 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 but he um, he did give a big fat meow for the camera, didn't you? My favourite furry nephew. You give him me kisses. There we go. <laughs> We're leaving Oscar alone and we are going upstairs to help Carrie decide on what she's going to wear because we've decided that we're going for drinks. We're having a weekend celebration and I have to help her find an outfit. It's my job. It is my job. <laughs> and she is. We are currently in Waitrose. Carrie is picking up ingredients for biscotti because we're gonna we're gonna make that when we get back because we're actually gonna be too early to go out. So we're <laughs> gonna do a drunken biscotti. It is because this is what happens when you're 31 and almost 30, and you don't know what to do with your weekends. <laughs> This is an alien thing. <laughs> she can't keep up. Look at the stress. Okay. Look at the stress. 
I always start it off like I'm going to eat it second and then it all gets too far. <laughs> <laughs> morning everyone oh i'm a very shiny little egg today um i thought i would kind of update you after my weekend and tell you where i'm at so just to let you know that i have been using the obagi skin thingy cream and it's made the areas that i'm like using it so i've got a little thing there a little thing there and a little thing there it's made them go red and kind of they feel like dry but I do really feel like I'm noticing a difference in like the the sort of color of them so I'm gonna keep going with it they said around like six weeks I should see a improvement so I'm gonna keep going with it but you can go and see him for kind of skin treatments and stuff like that as well this is the first actual kind of skin treatment that I've had with him it's obviously just a product I'm not going there and having like laser resurfacing but this is like the first step that we thought we would take to get rid of these because they just annoy me it's because my cheeks stick out so much and they always have done I know that um I obviously addressed the cheek filler rumor in my previous video I'll link that either on screen or down below but yeah just when I I don't like lie down when I'm like in the sun so the sun is always beating straight down on my face and so these bits are like the worst hit so I knew that I would start getting them there and I also remember when I got this one because I fell asleep in the sun with my face like that and it I oh know yeah terrible but so I thought I would update you on that I had a lovely weekend with Carrie we went back to the the wine bar in Woven and had oh the most amazing cheese platter and just loads and loads of wine and then we went and met Ali and his friends out and yeah I wanted to let you know because I know obviously I touched on it in this video that Ali hadn't vlogged or anything like that today is Ali's first day back vlogging. So hopefully that video will be up by the time this goes live so you can go and give him the warmest of welcomes back because, bless him, he's really, really like struggled. He was so strong in the beginning and like was holding me up. And then now it kind of feels like the, the tables have turned. So yeah, we're just hitting that point now where it's been a month and a half, no not a month and a half, a month and a week tomorrow and it's just, there's literally no sighting, like I don't know if I, no I haven't told you, on on Saturday, oh my god my heart breaks even thinking about it, but on Saturday we got an email from a lady that lives in our village and she said, I've got your cat, he's in my garden, I haven't been able to catch him but we've got him here and I was like, oh my God, they've got links. Oh my God. I was like, I just don't believe that it's him. I don't believe that it's him. It just seemed too weird that he would be literally a few yards across the field and not have come home. So Ali got up and dressed, sorry, my hair and all of my alfalfa sprouts are just making me look like a nutty professor. So Ali got dressed and went down there and met the lady. Oh, hold on, speak of the devil, he's calling me. Hello? No, babe, I'm vlogging. Okay, all right. Bye. Um, sorry, but he always calls me when I'm vlogging. Yeah, so Ali went down to investigate, met the lady. She was so lovely. They had CCTV footage of the cat running in their garden and the cat wasn't there when Ali got there. So he went looking around and came across a new person that had moved in that had a Bengal, was very, very different looking to Lynx, looked more like Lumi and it obviously wasn't Lynx. And it was so like, bless them, they were like, it's a hundred percent him. And then obviously it wasn't him. And so they felt, they emailed me and they were like, I'm so sorry, but they had no reason to be sorry. Like we'd rather people were over vigilant than not vigilant enough. And um, to just keep their, their kind of eyes peeled for him. But we're kind of reaching that point now where we're just like, it's been this long. He's not coming home. Like, there's been no sightings, no, no sightings of him. So, I don't know. So, yeah, I think that's everything that I had to tell you about. I know, obviously, I've done a Zara order in this video. Um, so, I thought that I could run through some bits that I ordered from H&M as well that came last night and just show you those. Just some little autumnal bits, basics. That's generally what I go to H&M for as well. Like, there'll be a few pieces that might be a trend piece, but I try my best to stay away from those and go for pieces that I can wear and wear and wear. So, I've got some really good pieces in there as well. Um, so, I'll show you those and then I will 
end this vlog, I promise. <laughs> Carrie has just bought me up my favourite coffee, which is coffee and chocolate soy milk. You should try it, it's banging. Sorry about that. I actually have like three videos to film today. So I'm finishing off this video. I have to refilm a part of another video and then I'm I'm starting another vlog once I've shown you these items. So bear with me. You might see this hair a lot. Although to be fair, I just wear this hair every day at the moment. I don't really know why. I just, do you know what I call it? I call it my French bun because it's effortless like the French, um, but it does take a little bit more time which the French tend to spend on beauty in order to look like they haven't tried. So that's why I call it my French bun. But I am gonna show you the items that I picked up from H&M at the moment, just so that we can get that done and get the video finished. But I am gonna enjoy my coffee and then show you. Oh, one thing I've realized, I've just put on my underwear. I was obviously saying the name of Intimissimi wrong. I was putting the emphasis on the I at the end. I can only apologize. I'm just, I get so excited about things. I just didn't even bother to look into the correct pronunciation of it, but I now know. And thank you to everyone that let me know as well, because I know what it's like when you hear something and someone says it wrong. It's like quite jarring in your ear, so <laughs> I get it. But now I know Intimissimi, and I've got my brow on, so I thought I would just let you guys know that I'm an idiot, I know, but it's just part of being human. Like there was a few people that obviously said horrible things, but there's always those people. Apparently I'm stupid because I can't say it. But if I like a brand, to be honest with you, the pronunciation is not like the thing that I'm the most worried about. I'm just worried about what the product is and how I'm talking to you about it. So yeah, I, I just, it doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world to me. And you know, it's, easily done. <laughs> because of the sunlight, I've had to move my mirror out so that you can see the dress a little bit better, but it's this gorgeous like mockery taupe colored dress. And it's like chiffon, it needs a steam. There's a little crease in there, but it's got ruffles. It also doesn't come down too low, but it's nice and tight over the bust as well. So it does cinch you in a little bit. This is a little bit more of a trend piece, although you could get away with easily wearing this in autumn, winter, spring, summer. So if you were thinking about buying it this is the kind of dress that doesn't really date because this style shape and color is pretty much always in it's more of a nudie tone so it goes really well with black so if you're concerned about getting like cost per wear out of an item and ensuring that you're not just buying pieces that are going to completely date um this is a good one it's not like the cycling short trend which probably won't be here in a few months <laughs> so this is something a little bit more timeless i've teamed it with my victoria beckham boots these are seriously on their last legs and I've actually got a new pair of winter boots coming so I am going to need to because these heels are like death now like I've had them rehealed so many times but now when I walk I'm like nearly slipping over it's really bad um, I've also put it with my Bottega Veneta bag the little clutch one I think I need to shorten this strap a little bit so it's up there but I also think this will go really nicely with my Dior bag so let me just grab that I actually think I prefer it with the Dior strap it feels quite Dior as well because it's all light and chiffon and Maria Grazia Ciri really does like the lighter softer fabrics this almost reminds me of what I wear in, wore in car yeah. I can't talk today what was that it almost reminds me a little bit of the outfit that I wore in Cannes with Dior because I wore a very nude chiffon. Um, it was more of a cami dress, but this is like the autumnal version, but the colors go so nicely with this bag. I love it. So I'll link it down below if it's still in stock, but I did feature it on Insta stories, so it may not be. I just can't promise these things. <laughs> I've just popped my other purchase on quickly. I've not even got shoes on, but I picked up two of these lace camis. These are great for layering in winter. Lace in autumn, winter, layered under like a V-neck shirt. You get this little bit of lace sticking out the top, not V-neck shirt, V-neck jumper, but also worn with like silks and leathers. I just love, love, love lace like this with a sort of satin cami. And these were a really great buy as well. And these are something that, again, these don't date. Lace and satin camis, uh, spaghetti strap ones, are timeless. They don't go out of fashion, so hopefully these are items that you'll get a lot of wear out of. They look great under blazers. Just really key layering pieces to make outfits a little bit more interesting and bring a little bit more texture. So these are great and they come in so many different colors as well. But I just went for this neutral one because it's just, it's more me and more fitting with my style and my wardrobe sort of color. 
palette. So yeah, really, really happy with this. They fit really nicely. Win. I also wanted to say this is the kind of top that I wouldn't wear a bra with because I wouldn't want the double straps. And this is when I would be in the position where I need to wear like nipple covers. Obviously just because I found bras that work for me doesn't mean that I'm never not going to wear a bra again. There will be times when it just doesn't feel right to wear a bra and because I don't like underwire I also don't like how big my lady lumps look when I wear strapless bras so yeah just because I, I do get some weird comments and as much as I know that there will always be messages where people say you know you don't have to defend yourself Lydia it's important that I address these things as well because I don't want anyone thinking I'm being dishonest I didn't used to wear bras because I never found bras that fitted were comfortable and worked for me and I've now found those which is great for me and I'm just sharing them with you so yeah <laughs> Also just showing you really quickly with these trousers. I picked up some of these camis, I think these were three pounds, which is obviously really, really low, and I don't know how they can make them that low cost, but I think I need the size up because it is quite tight and maybe a little bit see-through. I got them in white, so the white one definitely will be see-through, but I just, I find this neckline really flattering, this more squared cami neckline, but I think I'm gonna send these ones back and get just the size up, but they fit really nicely around here, so I'm worried that they're not gonna fit me there. But these are just a basic, again, great for layering or great for just wearing with different sort of monotonal textures. Not gonna date, first of all, because this is a cami, so you'll probably get a lot of wear out of it, even if it's just worn under something to keep you a bit warmer. They are slightly cropped as well, so they just pop in like that, so not too much fabric, but yeah. I also bought myself some basics, just some plain t-shirts. So I got these divided ones in black and nude. And then this one is, I think it's like a premium quality. Yeah, this is a silk blend tee. I don't want to put these on because I don't want to ruin them because I've got a full face of makeup. But these are just basic tees that will be great under blazers and jackets and coats. But also there's such a huge trend at the moment for like silk skirts. And I thought that these would look really nice with some silk skirts. So yeah, not gonna put these on, but they look great. <laughs> and something a little bit different for me, you would have seen that I got a Versace t-shirt recently. I'm kind of getting into graphic tees a little bit more. I try and stay away from band tees because I feel like people just look at you like you don't like the band anyway, unless it's something really obscure. But I saw this t-shirt on H&M and it's from Romeo and Juliet. And obviously if you don't know, for my wedding, the song that I walked down the aisle to was the balcony scene from the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and I listen to that song all the time and so I feel like this tea is just, it's just something a little bit like a little bit of a reminder but also something different and I just loved it when I saw it I was like I've got to have that tea so I ordered it. Really like it, fits really nice and actually the, the feel of the fabric is nice, nice and light so it doesn't feel too stiff because sometimes with teas from high street stores they can be quite stiff and rigid, this feels really lovely. So before I rabbit on any more to you, this is like the longest video ever. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it here because I feel like there's been a bit of everything in this video and I hope that you've stayed until the end. But if you didn't, that's fine. If you watched it in intervals, that's fine too. <laughs> I will see you in my next video and hopefully it's a bit of a house update for you. I'm waiting on some things to arrive, but fingers crossed they'll be arriving very soon. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I've got a concoction of things. I've got Spice from MAC, I've got By Terry Lady Bear, and then I have a gloss from Laura Mercier, which is new. Dear, trying it out, it's called Bear Beige, and it's one of their glosses. I don't usually wear gloss, but we're we're trying it out, and I quite like it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.